You've got data and you know how to get it into Google Cloud Storage. So let's talk about who you want to have access to it. I'm in a sharing mood today, so I'll give you permission to learn more. Today on Google Cloud Storage Bytes, we're talking about controlling access, keeping the right people in the loop and the wrong people out of it. Let's dive in. Google Cloud Storage takes security very, very seriously. Your data is important, and it's critical to control who has access to it. That's why we provide access management to allow different users to get to data that is, by default, private. First, keep in mind that access is managed at the object level, meaning that a single bucket of storage can hold data objects with varying levels of accessibility. To change the access permissions for an object, you simply need to edit those permissions, either through the GSUtil command line tool or in the Cloud Console. And to save time, you can even change the edit permissions for an entire bucket at once. And now there's three basic access patterns for Google Cloud Storage. First is where all the data is private to just you and your projects. This is default and really helpful for a lot of systems. Second is adjusting access to that data on a per object or per bucket level. Using Google Cloud IAM, you can decide which users, groups, or projects should have access to an object depending on your needs, groups, or setups. This can be really helpful in larger organizations with different access needs or privacy needs. Third is allowing certain objects or buckets to be publicly accessible. That means anyone with the link to an object can access it, and that makes Google Cloud Storage a great place to store assets for your applications to fetch from, or provide a public endpoint that users can access but have to authenticate in order to do so. If you need a public endpoint but also want more oversight and control into who has access, you can use an authenticated browser. Users will have to log in in order to get specified data, but the process is managed via the use of cookies. Regardless of your access scenario, adjusting permissions for objects can be done through either the GSUtil command line tool or our client libraries, or even right in the Google Cloud Console for point and click ease of use. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to give you a teeny tiny suggestion. As your access complexity grows, you'll want to start spending more and more time leaning on Cloud IAM and Access Control Lists, or ACLs, to manage. Cloud IAM provides enterprise-grade access to control all of cloud letting you adjust permissions in a more hierarchical manner. ACLs, on the other hand, let you grant access based on individual objects within a bucket, although it might take a bit more setup to get it working right. If that sounds like an area where you want to learn more, and let's be honest, you really should, check the links in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and let us know what features of cloud storage you'd like to know more about. Thank you for joining us on this quick bite of Google Cloud Storage. See you next time.